Good afternoon. I did actually try to go to bed at a reasonable time, or reasonable-ish time, um, last night, but I just, I couldn't sleep, I don't know why. I know, just, there's like this, like, not waterfall, but water falls down and smacks the ground below, and you can actually hear it quite clearly, um, from where my hotel is, and that just kind of keeps me up, it's annoying. But it has been like that a few nights and it's never bothered me too much. I think the last night was quite bad for some reason. So yeah, I ended up just sleeping like, uh, well, I guess quite recently. <laughs> and I was, um, so I need to do an online check-in with my flights and do that, take a shower. And um, yeah, I guess I, need to really take it easy today because um, I'm going to be only getting up at 9am, I'll just set my alarm for 9am, going to go from Patea to straight to uh, BKK and uh, yeah, I was actually drinking a lot yesterday to be fair so <laughs> probably summed up as to why I'm so fucked right now. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah I don't really know what to do like for the rest of today and um tonight even i know sunset beers is sunset beers is always a must but um yeah i spent so much goddamn money this time <laughs> i've done i've definitely spent um a bit more this time around than last year but honestly i think i've had a better time so <laughs> riddle that um yeah I'll, I'll also need to charge my gopro which i still haven't done yet i'll get straight to that let's go do something all right this gopro does not charge very quickly <laughs> okay so i've just packed um quite a fair few bits uh ready for my trip home it's kind of sad doing that <laughs> but yeah, honestly, I'm, I'm kind of okay with it at the same time because like I've had such such a good time uh, in my two weeks here. Uh, mission accomplished, um, if anything. That's all I got to say. Um, so I haven't packed literally everything, but I've packed kind of like most things, I guess. Still got a few bits and bobs lying around. Um, so I think right now I'm gonna go downstairs, get out of the hotel. Um, get some food because I'm starting to get a little bit hungry and um, yeah I think I must take a stroll around the beach to be honest and um, I'm going to sort of um, kind of like do like a like a bit of a review of uh, my time here and answer the question that possibly some of you might have um, is Patea worth coming to in 2024 because I definitely have quite a lot of things to uh, say about that and um Yep, let's get straight to that. All oh, right, awesome lunch, very nice. I actually really love squid, to be fair. Um, yeah, it's, once again, another beautiful day here in Patea. Um, I do need to find a place to sit and talk, <laughs> to speak what's on my mind. And honestly, I just really want to soak up the sun for the last time here. So, where I'll do this talking, I do not know. But I'll figure something. I'm gonna walk down there because I haven't walked all the way out there. That's cool. Good day today.
Okay, try get this done uh, before my GoPro runs out of battery. I'm, my flight is tomorrow and um, that's it. That's my two weeks done here in Patea. I've had such an excellent time, so memorable. I, d I, I don't know, man, I just love it here so much. So much to say. It's been truly amazing. But now that I'm at the end of my ho uh, holiday, I want to ask, uh, answer a a fairly common question that's, that always floats around uh, the sort of uh, Bataya, Thailand space in the internet and that question is is Pattaya worth coming to in 2024? Absolutely yes this place is booming this place is thriving this place is changing constantly all the time um, something I noticed been the first couple of days of me uh, coming here that it's definitely a lot more, um, a lot more busier than last year. Well, I say a lot more, but a, a noticeable amount, uh, noticeably amount different, busier than last year. And so um, it sort of seems like this place is absolutely not dying, despite what they say. Look, I wasn't there in the heyday of Patea in the 90s and the early 2000s. Never got to see that, <laughs> but. Um, yeah, there's, there's so much, there's so much here, there's so much to enjoy here. Just for a start, the weather, I mean, the weather is just amazing. It's absolute paradise, it feels like here. And guys, Patera in 2024, if, if it's on your bucket list or whatever, if you're on the fence about it, guys, just, just come out here. I, I know it's like not exactly like amazing advice, it doesn't really answer anything, but guys, seriously, just come out here, it is absolutely amazing. It doesn't really matter how much money you spend out here, you're just going to have a great time no matter what. One thing I do want to mention also is that um, it's, it's kind of a known thing that it's this place is not as cheap as it used to be. Um, so a couple of nights ago, I was in Walking Street actually, and um, I was paying 140 baht for a, you know, the little bottle of Chang's. I was paying 140 baht for a beer, which kind of threw, threw me off a little bit. I'm not gonna lie, it kind of blew me away. I was like, whoa. Uh, this, this was in a Myth nightclub, by the way. It wasn't in one of the bars. It was, a, it was an actual nightclub. But yeah, I was paying 140 baht for a beer. I was like, whoa. <laughs> like, that's literally comparable to UK prices. But um, guys, in the bars and or the lounges, those types of places, it, it, it's still good. Um, you can still definitely get a, a beer for um, under 100 baht easy. Uh, some places that will do the live music, they, you might be nearly 100 baht or just over 100 baht uh, for a beer. But yeah, uh, the food is still really cheap. Um, again, not in every place. It's, um, I had a meal at uh, my hotel. Uh, paid a little over a ten pound, uh, but I did have a starter, a main, rice, and water. Uh, four items, you know, ten pounds. It's not amazing, but um, it was at a ho it, w it was at a hotel right by the beach, which you know the beach sells itself. So um, it it's not so bad. But um, the food here, I go to a street food, pennies <laughs> or barely pounds. The food is still really cheap here. And um, you know, it's still night and day difference compared to the UK, <laughs> let's be honest. So, um, if you're worried about um, the whole misconception that it's not as cheap as well, it's not really a misconception, like it's definitely not as cheap as it used to be, but compared to like I don't know the Western world, um, this place is really cheap still. Definitely come out here. But just, just to summarize that, like, guys, I, I love it here. This place is just perfect for me it's perfect for men like me if you're like a single man whatever you're gonna love it seriously it's it's exactly what you want it to be the food is amazing women are beautiful the weather is just incredible it's just it's, it's all around amazing guys if you if you're on the fence about it if you're thinking about it book your trip to Patea right now
Oh, oh, what? <laughs> I'm trying to turn that down. <laughs> All right, so I just got back to my hotel. Ciao, uh, got ready a little bit. Um, trying to pack a few more bits and pieces. Um, so there's less to do in the morning, basically, because who knows what time I'm gonna stay out till. I sure shit don't. <laughs> um, yeah, man, this, oh man, this is so sad. Just about to head out for my last night out in Patea for God knows how long. But um, yeah, I think I'm just gonna try and jump around a little bit, meet a few friends and um, say goodbye, say what's up. <laughs> The other way around, of course. Um, yeah, this is honestly just kind of sad. This is so hard to do in some sort of weird way. But um, as I said, I've really enjoyed my time here. I've done exactly what I wanted to do. Like I've gotten, gotten out of it what I wanted. On that note, I am going to have a blast in this last night. Um, take care, guys. Thank you for watching.